Hi, this is Deepa from Deepa's Tarot. I'm here to do a Virgo Sun Moon Rising. Okay, this is a timeless reading. Anytime you come across this reading is the time you need to get these messages. Okay, all right. So take a deep breath and Virgo, join me. Okay, take a deep breath. Mm, I picked a seashell for you, not a crystal. Okay, definite connection to the ocean, definite connection to the energies of water. Okay, water manifestation will really work well for you, Virgo. Okay, your analytical brain needs a little bit of cooling down. Okay, don't just always reali re rely on um, your analytical brain to give you the answers. Okay, mm, right, because you also need to use your intuition, your emotional body also wants to help you connect with your answers, Virgo. Okay. Mm. I'm connecting with a Virgo who's very intent on creating something, making a name for yourself, okay? And you will be successful. Just give it time. As long as this, you give it time and your patience and courage and you use courage, okay? And not uh, allow others and others' opinions to discourage you, you will see success. Others will always have an opinion, Virgo, Okay? You cannot let that be the reason why you do something or don't do something. Okay. Now Lord Ganesha is coming through. Thank you. Lord Ganesha is coming through. You are helping a lot of people, Virgo. But whatever you are doing, you are doing the right thing. Lord Ganesha wants you to know. You are on the right path. Okay. Don't dilute yourself or your messages or your work because you are not receiving the feedback you want to receive. You will receive it. Okay. The right people will see it. Lord Ganesha, thank you for coming through with love and light. What are the messages, please? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Thank you. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Thank you, Lord Ganesha. Please help me connect with the energies of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. And please help me receive messages for them. Thank you. Universal love is coming through Virgo. You're someone who's going to feel the energies of the universe loving you. The gods, your goddesses, archangels, your ancestors. Divine support is present for you, Virgo. Divine support for all of your work. All right. Okay, thank you, Lord Ganesha. I feel like doing this. <clears throat> okay, reflection. Reflection. There's a need to take a lot of things into consideration before you decide something. Okay, and like the original message I gave you, don't just rely on your uh, intuition if you do continue, tend to do that. Also rely on your logical mind. Okay, if you just are relying on your logical mind always and not connecting with your intuition, bring all the factors into being and make a decision here. Some decision you're about to take is going to pay off big. I'm feeling the energy of a peacock with you. Okay, all right. What are the planets? Influencing Virgo. Thank you. What are the planets influencing Virgo? When they come across this video, what are the planets that are influencing Virgo? Thank you. What are the planets that are influencing Virgo? Thank you. Thank you so much. I feel like really clearing out a lot of energies with you, Virgo. You may benefit from doing a self-cleansing, okay? Cleanse yourself. Aries, I am. Very nice. Mars, force. Hmm, okay then. Okay, Mars is playing a big role in your personality change that's about to happen for you, Virgo. Okay, you're about to go through a personal transformation, a personal revolution, so to speak. Okay, you're not going to find, you're going to find that you're not relating as well to some of the things you used to relate to before. Okay, some of the people that you used to relate to before effortlessly, you will feel like you're struggling with communication. Okay, with them because they're not in a, vi a vibrational match. For the current energy so if you feel a need to avoid certain energies please take that as a take this as a confirmation of that feeling that yes give yourself some space here virgo give yourself some space don't continuously try to solve a problem if you are facing a problem walk away from the problem a little bit and get back to it to get your solutions all right 
is what I'm getting. Um, luck is on your side, Virgo. Luck is on your side. Whatever you wish to create, you have the ability, Virgo, to create. Don't leave too many things to chance here. If you want to make something happen, go at it with the, like a determination of an Aries. Consistently. And that's how the results will show up. There are, there are some deceptive energies around you. People who are not showing you their true self. Okay, Virgo? You know, you're already aware of it. You're already aware of some two-faced energies here. You don't have to take any action right now. Just awareness is the key, is what I'm getting. What, does, what are the energies surrounding Virgo when they come across this video? Thank you. What are the energies surrounding Virgo when they come across this video? Thank you. Eight of Swords. There you go. The mental trap. Okay, that reflection that you started or the thoughts that you thought, like the solutions that you're trying to find, make sure you're not getting into a trap in that. I must find a solution. I must find a solution and constantly think. Walk away from problems to solve them. Walk away and create a distance from people to solve certain relationship stories here. Okay, four of wands. There you go, relationship story. If you're having problems with a relationship in particular, walk away from it a little bit of trying to solve it when i say don't walk away from physically from people that you don't need to do that emotionally detach from a mental story here from a story that's forming in your relationships to find the solution okay that's just for one of you so some of you you are intent on breaking free of the trap of the past and you're intent on bringing your manifestations into being you're intent on maintaining strong boundaries to protect your yourself and your family you're going to succeed effortlessly all right, the high priestess, your intuition is on point, Virgo. Somehow your intuition, which was sleeping, is also coming to the surface. Your spiritual gifts are coming to the surface. Your ability to see, read between the lines, to see people clearer, clearly or clearer, clearer, sorry, is coming through also. Okay, emperor, wow, a lot of Aries energy with you. You're either dealing with an Aries or you're adapting to be in that masculine energy of I will get things done Mars is helping you there I will get all the work done pending work done I will make sure that I am focused Virgos are usually very good with the to-do list and everything but you may be a Virgo who was slacking off a little bit because you were caught in your thoughts or you're just feeling very lethargic in your body and you're not allowing that now to stop you you're entering a very masculine energy you're like i'm going to get my dreams into being now i'm going to start the project i always wanted to do and you have the blessing that you will become an authority figure in that okay king of swords who a lot of masculine energy here hmm. whatever opposition that you faced in the past is no longer a problem for you virgo all right if you faced any opposition of people not believing in you not applauding for you it's not going to hold you back now okay you are going to say whatever it is whoever people think whatever i am going to do my thing okay becoming very individualistic here which is great to see uh, some of you are also needing to protect your dream from by you know uh, not talking about it working in silence is going to benefit virgos a lot what is a collective Virgo sun moon rising? What do you need to know? What is coming up? Please, Virgo. Thank you. The lovers. Ooh la la. Okay. A decision needing to make a decision. Again, that's why the need for reflection. Oh, this came in the reverse, but I'm going to put it up right. Oh, for those of you, the emperor, the empress. Okay. For those of you who are in a soulmate connection hmm, and you separated, this person is coming back big and strong. Some of you have a telepathic connection with this person already. This person talks, speaks to you through songs, through words of a song, through a music that you hear. You know, you know when this person connects with you telepathically. This may be for one, two people here. Okay, this person is going to want a re-entry into your life, big and strong. For some, this is a childhood sweetheart. For some, this is someone, a boss kind of an energy who you had a crush on or a love affair with. I don't think it went all the way to a like a relationship. It was just a very uneasy kind of a dynamic that could have led to something, but somebody killed it before it blossomed. Now this person wants a thousand, the second chance with you. Um, I don't know what you're going to do there. I do see an indecisiveness coming about you. Some of you are just not even going to open the door. You say, my life is complicated enough right now. I don't need this person to come back and trouble me further. I don't care to see what they have to offer. Some of you are going to explore it. And what is the outcome, please? 
what is the outcome for those who want to explore what is the outcome nothing will come of this situation this person is truly not a giver of love they just want a good time they just want to feel your good energy and get out i'm sorry okay that's what i'm getting but this is just one reading i'm just one tarot reader okay who's not even like the expert in tarot okay i'm just channeling here and this may not even be your story so don't get disappointed and please 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 don't worry and then send me an email and say oh my gosh what if this happens this this is my story i don't know it, this is not your story probably if it is build the courage to face whatever it is whatever it is build the courage to see the truth truth doesn't always feel good right truth sucks but truth is the one thing that will set you free okay all right truth is the one thing that will set you free there are a lot of people involved in your story here a lot of people want to be involved in your day-to-day -day life here virgo hmm? how is virgo having the freedom let's come on and let's show her who's the boss no, uh, you're like okay i'm sorry you used to be in control of my life before this feels like a group of relatives or family you're like no more no more i don't think you will express it you will show it with your actions as in you're not going to talk to them as much or you're not going to participate in trauma drama as you did before and that is the reason why you're going to free yourself from toxic family okay this is your story okay all right what is the animal spirit what do you want virgo to know sun moon rising thank you so much thank you lord ganesha thank you virgo sun moon rising please thank you what are the messages for virgo sun moon rising thank you what are the messages for virgo sun moon rising thank you venus is going to help you okay venus is coming in big time you're going to feel beautiful you're going to look feel handsome okay you're whatever right you're going to feel amazing okay connect with the energy of water connect with the energy of fire and earth a lot of elements want to support you here okay softness and gentleness what you want doesn't require heavy action okay go easy on yourself while you're figuring out what your decision is or what your next step is okay raise your frequency focus on the thoughts you create focus on the content you're watching or is it all high vibrational because you are having an ability right now to manifest great abundance with the aries energy and the mars energy okay the masculine energy is supporting you here you have done some healing or you are also being asked to if you haven't done it to heal your father wounds if you have any forgive your father forgive your grandfather okay forgive your brothers like there is a need to cleanse out the energy of masculine bring it into balance by healing by sending them blessings or forgiving them okay alive or dead doesn't matter alive or passed on doesn't matter from your end sending them good good energy and that is going to heal the masculine in you and that is going to heal the actions you take that is going to dictate the actions you take from that healed masculine energy okay shiv shakti here wants to show up for you shiv shakti okay thank you so much so balancing your shiv and your shakti balancing them bringing them into being in bringing them into perfect like a unison right that's the goal for a virgo balancing yourself internally so your external world reflects your inner balance okay all right this is what i have for you virgo um i don't like to just make a video big for the sake of making it big because this is all you need to know okay work on your inner fire work on your inner self bring balance to your thoughts to your actions all right weigh your options for somebody here you don't think you have many you seem to think you have a, don't have a lot of options but here the universe is saying no you have a lot of options in front of you to make money to grow to heal find them will lean on the universe to receive your healing so then for somebody here you will heal others with the healing you receive okay so if you manage to escape again going back to that person with the toxic family if you manage to overcome that you will be sharing that story with many people through writing or through journaling or through speaking and they will also find a way to overcome their um traps okay so you are playing a big role in people's lives in the next few months here virgo don't undercut yourself don't undersell yourself don't allow other people's feedback to water down your vision 
if you want to do something Virgo and you've meditated on it and it's really coming from this I, I want to do it just do it external validation or lack of it should not be the reason why Virgo doesn't try to go to like touch the stars here okay that cannot be the crutch other people's opinions are you cannot hide behind that and say oh but this person said that's why no no none of that if you've been doing that don't do that anymore okay if other don't allow others to use you as the shoulder to shoot from okay remove yourself from unsavory situations unsavory people unsavory conversations that lower your vibration because the more higher you are the more you're moving towards pure unconditional love unity right one with the universe and one with all living things right develop that energy within you so you are able to see get that higher perspective that eagle perspective thank you eagle spirit for coming through okay for the Virgos here you're divinely protected okay you're on a path of massive success and abundance okay you just have to reorient a little bit okay shake off some of the um, the stuck juju within you and then move on okay life wants to grow for you Virgo life wants to bring in pleasure for you success for you happiness for you visibility for you authority for you there people want to listen to you Virgo or you will become someone who people will listen to am I making sense I hope I am at least to somebody here okay i'll see you later take care bye